so sad leaving. I was crying. I'm like, I don't want to go. I was scared to leave those front doors. Reality TV star Jax Taylor is getting real about his mental health journey and the emotional roller coaster he's been on since entering rehab earlier this year. The 45-year-old former Vanderpump Rules star revealed his deep fears and anxieties about leaving the rehab facility, where he sought treatment for bipolar disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This came at a tumultuous time in his life, as he also navigated marital struggles with his soon-to-be ex-wife, Brittany Cartwright. During a candid conversation on his and Cartwright's podcast, When Reality Hits, Jax shared how difficult it was to adjust to rehab initially, only to find himself unwilling to leave by the end of his stay. Got there, I f hated it, and I, then I just let myself, and then I loved it. Jax said in a raw Instagram clip from the podcast, the structure of the program brought him a sense of peace and stability he hadn't felt in a long time. Yeah, I knew what I was doing. I was reading. I was in that world. He explained. I was so sad leaving. I was crying. I'm like, I don't want to go. But as comforting as rehab was, Jax feared stepping back into his everyday life, feeling like the weight of the world was waiting to crash down on him. The world's going to hit me like a ton of bricks, he admitted. His anxiety only intensified knowing he had to return to filming and face the repercussions of his past actions. Everybody's mad at me and they're gonna come at me. He confessed, adding that while he's been dealing with it, it remains a terrifying prospect. Beyond his mental health struggles, Jax also addressed the heartbreak of his impending divorce from Brittany, 35, who filed for divorce in late August, citing irreconcilable differences. The couple had been married for five years and welcomed their son, Cruz, in 2021. Though the split is painful, Jax expressed understanding and empathy for Brittany's decision. I understand why she did it, he said. I'll always love and care for Brittany. She's the mother of my beautiful son. Despite the emotional upheaval, Jax tried to find some humor in the situation, joking that he would make an excellent ex-husband. Still, the pain of the divorce is undeniable, with Jax calling it a really, really rough week, and noting that anyone who has been through a divorce would understand the intense difficulty he's facing. Jax's honesty about his mental health journey and his ongoing divorce sheds light on the often hidden struggles faced by public figures. As he navigates the challenges of life after rehab and the end of his marriage, his vulnerability serves as a reminder that even reality TV stars face very real and painful battles behind the scenes. For now, Jax is taking things day by day, working through his fears, and continuing to prioritize his mental health, all while balancing his career, co-parenting with Brittany, and moving forward into an uncertain future. Despite the end of their relationship, Jax has expressed a desire to keep things civil between them. In a recent episode of their podcast, When Reality Hits, the 45-year-old Vanderpump Rules alum shared his hopes for their post-divorce future. I want our relationship to be amicable, Jack said, adding that he holds out hope that one day they'll hopefully become really, really good friends. However, Brittany has already taken significant steps in the divorce process, making it clear that she's ready to move forward and start fresh. The reality TV star has officially filed for primary legal and physical custody of their son, Cruz. Although she's open to visitation rights for her soon-to-be ex-husband, Jax, the Kentucky native is adamant about one thing, blocking the court from awarding either of them spousal support. She cited January 24th as their official date of separation, a decision that, according to those close to her, had been a long time coming. For those familiar with Brittany and Jax's rocky relationship, the divorce doesn't come as a complete shock. People close to the situation have revealed that Brittany felt it was in the best interest of both herself and Cruz to finally take this step, effectively putting an end to what had become a tumultuous cycle between her and Jax. This decision wasn't made lightly, a source close to Brittany explained, but she feels adamant that it was the right one. Brittany's determination to protect her son and herself from further emotional turmoil has been her driving force, and those closest to her fully support the decision. Friends and family have stood by her as she moves forward with the divorce, with many noting that there had been too much pain over the past few months for her to simply look the other way. The breakdown of their marriage, much like their whirlwind romance, has been a spectacle played out on screen for millions to witness. Brittany and Jax's early love story was documented on Vanderpump Rules, where fans fell in love with their quirky chemistry and undeniable attraction. From the start, their relationship was filled with ups and downs, dramatic fights, reconciliations, and more than a few tearful moments. But despite the warning signs that their relationship was volatile, they moved forward, eventually tying the knot in a lavish wedding that aired as part of the Vanderpump Rules franchise. However, even the most romantic beginnings can end in disaster. As their relationship continued to unravel, Brittany and Jax's problems became more and more apparent. The couple's turbulent dynamic was exposed for all to see in their spin-off series, The Valley. 
What started as a dream opportunity to showcase their new life together in a more intimate setting quickly turned into a chronicle of their unraveling. Week after week, viewers watched the tension between them escalate, arguments over Jax's erratic behavior, his refusal to seek help for his anger issues, and constant emotional manipulation took center stage. Their arguments became a regular feature of their daily lives, and it wasn't long before things reached a breaking point. In a brutally honest confession during the show's finale, Brittany revealed just how bad things had gotten between her and Jax. Tearfully opening up to the camera, she shared that, about six weeks prior to filing for divorce, she had made the heart-wrenching decision to leave their marital home. The strain had become unbearable, and Jax's refusal to leave their shared house forced her to take a drastic step. In an attempt to find some semblance of peace for both herself and Cruz, she moved into an Airbnb with their son. While it was an incredibly difficult choice to make, Brittany knew she couldn't continue to live in a toxic environment any longer. It got to the point where I just couldn't be there anymore, Brittany said during one of the show's most emotional moments. Jax was unwilling to leave, and it felt like I was suffocating. I needed to protect Cruz and myself, so I packed our things and moved out. But Brittany's decision to leave wasn't just about physical space. It was also symbolic of the emotional distance she had begun to feel from Jax. Over the course of their marriage, Brittany reportedly grew increasingly disillusioned with Jax's inability to change. His infamous temper and commitment phobia, issues that had been well documented throughout their relationship, had only worsened over time. What was once love had turned into resentment, and Brittany found herself constantly questioning whether Jax truly cared about their family. At the heart of the couple's problems was Jax's refusal to take responsibility for his actions. While Brittany had made numerous sacrifices to keep their marriage afloat, Jax had continued to exhibit selfish behavior. Sources close to the couple say that Jax's partying habits, combined with his refusal to seek therapy for his emotional issues, contributed to the breakdown of their relationship. Brittany tried everything, one insider shared. She gave him so many chances, but in the end she realized he wasn't going to change. Behind the scenes, Brittany was struggling with feelings of betrayal and heartache. She had gone into the marriage believing that Jax would work on his issues, but as time went on, it became clear that he wasn't willing to put in the effort. Friends say Brittany was often left to care for Cruz on her own, while Jax continued to live a bachelor-like lifestyle. She was essentially a single mom, another source close to the couple added. She had to do what was best for her son and herself. The decision to file for primary custody of Cruz was not made out of spite, but out of a desire to create stability for their child. Brittany's top priority has always been her son's well-being, and she felt that seeking primary custody would allow her to provide the best environment for him. While she remains open to Jax having visitation rights, she is determined to maintain control over the legal and physical aspects of Cruz's upbringing. As for the issue of spousal support, Brittany is making it clear that she doesn't want either of them to benefit financially from the other. By blocking the court from awarding spousal support, she is sending a message that she is ready to stand on her own two feet and create a life for herself and Cruz, independent of Jax. We were already having issues all summer long, but once the cameras stopped rolling, things just seemed like they were getting worse and worse and worse, Brittany shared. The tension at home escalated, with Brittany describing the environment as toxic. She explained that Jax would come home hungover and act mean as a snake the next morning. She ultimately realized she couldn't continue to live in such a destructive atmosphere, not for herself or for Cruz. I just hit this point where I started noticing everything that he did to me, Brittany said. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. Brittany's painful reflections revealed a pattern of betrayal and disrespect throughout their relationship. From infidelity to humiliation, Brittany confessed she had endured a lot during their time together. I have been through a lot of pain in this relationship, Brittany admitted, her voice heavy with emotion. I just can't deal with it anymore. For Brittany, the choice to leave wasn't just about ending her marriage. It was about reclaiming her peace of mind and protecting her son from a toxic environment. As she looks to the future, she's determined to break the cycle and build a better life for herself and Cruz away from the pain that has plagued her relationship with Jax. While Jax is still coming to terms with the end of their marriage and his own personal struggles, Brittany is resolute in her decision to move on. As they both embark on this next chapter of their lives, one thing is clear. For Brittany, there's no turning back.